Hey friends, I'm here with Schubert's Big Voice. Schubert's Big Voice. It's the first day of school in Bug Valley. Schubert is so excited that while he getting he is getting dressed, he sings. Hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Schubert's sister Sophia hears him singing and shouts out a secret. I'm sorry, I know a secret. <clears throat> Schubert begins a being a lightning bug gets so excited that his body lights up with golden glow. What? What? What's the secret, he asks. Sophia looks to see if anybody is around and quietly whispers to Schubert, There's a new teacher at school who does magic. She's a beautiful butterfly and her name is Mrs. Bookbinder. My friend told me Mrs. Bookbinder can make rainbows appear. Schubert isn't sure he believes this new teacher can make rainbows appear. He is sure that he is excited, so he continues to sing his song. Hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Hooray, hooray, I'm on my way. While singing, Schubert has a brilliant idea. I'll take his Mrs. Bookbinder an apple, and it will be a gift for her to help her feel welcome in Bug Valley. Schubert carefully packs his apple into his backpack so it won't get squished, squashed, or smashed, or splattered. Off he goes to school. When Schubert reaches the door of his classroom, he gently pulls out the apple to admire his gift. It is the shiniest, biggest, reddish, juicy apple Schubert has ever seen. He safely places the apple back in his bag. Just then, Benny pushes his way through the door, trampling over Schubert. Bam! Schubert who hits the floor. Slam! The backpack falls open. Thump! Out rose the apple. Ooh, as he uh, yells Schubert, as he watches the apple bounce across the room. Thump, thump, thump. It stops at Benny's feet. Look, an apple. Yum. I'm so hungry, Benny says with delight. Hey, that's mine, shouts Schubert from the floor. Benny just laughs and puts the apple in his pocket. When Schubert sees Benny take a, his apple, he feels his face get hot and inside quiver. He can hear his heart beat, beat, and beating. He feels mad, really mad. Benny has taken his apple, and Schubert doesn't know what to do about it. Suddenly, Schubert feels so, a soft breeze blow across his face as a beautiful butterfly appears. Greetings, my friend, she states. My name is Mrs. Bookbinder. Schubert, Schubert looks up at his new teacher, she looks like an eight-foot-tall angel. Mrs. Bookbinder says in a soothing voice, Your arms are folded like this, and your forehead is wrinkled just like this. Schubert feels understood. His body begins to relax. You seem very mad. Something scary must have happened, she asks as she reaches out her hand to help Schubert to his feet. Without thinking, he takes her hand. As he stands up, he kneels down. She kneels down. Eye to eye, Schubert feels a sense of comfort and safety as he stares his, shares his story. I brought you an apple. It was the shiniest, biggest, reddish, juiciest apple ever. Benny knocked me down and took it. Mrs. Bookbinder instantly understands. Schubert feels mad because Benny pushed him down and took his apple. Schubert did not know what the words to use to express himself to Benny to get his apple back. Did you like it when he pushed you? Mrs. Bookbinder asked. No way. It hurt and I dropped everything, Schubert snaps. <clears throat> In a slow, firm voice, Mrs. Bookbinder guides Schubert. Then go tell Benny. I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. Say it now for practice. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Me. Tell Benny. Schubert's eyebrows raise up and his eyes open wide. He, his knees tremble as he swallows the big gulps in his throat. Then he whispers in a tiny voice, I don't like it when you push me. Mrs. Bookbinder senses Schubert's feeling scared. So she takes his hand. Schubert, let's find your big voice. <clears throat> Make your voice match mine. Schubert speaks slowly and firmly. I don't like it when you push me. Give me my ba back my apple. Schubert listens carefully. 
Schubert understand Schubert understands what he needs to do. He needs to use his big voice so that Benny will listen to his words. Schubert collects his courage by taking a deep breath, and then he firmly says, I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. <clears throat> Mrs. Bookbinder nods and practice, practice is over. Schubert is ready to talk to Benny. Schubert, with his heart beating fast, walks towards Benny. Standing straight and tall in front of Benny, Schubert says in his big voice, I don't like it when you push me. Give me back my apple. All is quiet in the classroom. Benny stares at Schubert. Schubert stares at Benny. Mrs. Bookbinder watches them both. Then Benny reaches into his pocket. You mean this apple? He says. Yes, that apple, says Schubert. Looking directly into Benny's eyes. Okay, here you go. And Benny hands the apple to Schubert. Schubert is shocked and excited. His whole body... His whole lightning bug body lights up with joy. Wow, my words have power. My words have power. He jumps with joy. Then, like magic, he sees a rainbow appear out of the window. You really are magic, he says to Mrs. Bookbinder with amazement. He proudly gives her the shiniest, biggest, reddest, ju juiciest apple ever. Schubert, we are all magic, Mrs. Bookbinder says. We just need to believe in ourselves and each other. I do believe, Schubert says. I do believe. Schubert feels elated and continues to sing his song. Hooray, hooray, it's a wonderful day. Hooray, hooray, I'm on my way. Stop, I don't like it. Or powerful words to say. It's magic, I can use it every day. The class joins and helps Schubert sing his song. And they sing it all together. The end.